Hello everyone, this is me Satya here and I'm doing your uh, third week of September read start from the 15th through the 21st of uh, September 2021. This reading is going to be for the sign of Libra. So let's see how this week is going to be for Libra starting from 15th through 21st of uh, September. I will be adding oracle cards in this reading and uh, I will also pull out some messages from your person as well. So stay tuned and before I dive into the week, let me remind you it is a general reading. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So always pick the signs and messages which are resonating and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. So let's dive into the read and let's find out how this week is going to be for the sign of Libra. Let's begin. King of Cups. Four of Swords, somebody's uh, thinking about you, Libras. Or maybe you are thinking about someone. Let's see more cards first. Seven of Swords, wow. Ace of Pentacles. The Chariot. The Strength. Seven of Pentacles. Nine of Cups. I mean, the deck we do have the Queen of Wands. It seems like, you know, um, the energies could be reversed for some of you, but I feel like, you know, there is somebody in your life that you are thinking about right now. Um, or maybe, I feel like, you know, for majority of you, maybe it's going to be the energy of the person. I, I feel like, you know, it's going to be the person's energy towards you. Um... It seems like, you know, there there is a specific someone in your life who really loves you. But at the same time, uh, seems like, you know, this this person, um, this person could have been very unavailable uh, emotionally and in terms of commitment as well. Seems like, you know, this person has been thinking about you lately heavily. And I feel like, you know, this week is going to be the time where they are going to be planning towards coming back in your life with the um with them being ready to accept that marriage proposal commitment proposal that you might have made to them um this person is definitely coming back it's it's more like a past person returning in your life with an offer to uh give or to or to accept as well um this person has been having a lot on their mind about you and the connection that they have with you I feel like, you know, they, they always had feelings for you, just that they had other thoughts in their mind, be that about people, be that about, you know, their friends and family, be that about religious differences, uh, you know, I feel like you know, there could have been something which was stopping your person to uh, take this offer. I feel like, you know, for the majority of you, you might have uh, been the one who had offered love to this person, but I feel like, you know, there there has been something which stopped the person from accepting this offer. Uh, they have been thinking around it, but then maybe they have rejected you in the past as well. But now it seems like, you know, they are um, feeling that, you know, they they need to think about it. They need to see where we can take it to the, you know, uh, where we can take it, uh, this connection that they have with you. I feel like, you know, it's, it's more of um, the time uh, where... Um, they will have to make a decision about you and the connection that they have with you. They can, they, they will need a lot of strength, courage to make that decision. Like I said, maybe they have to go against the norms. Maybe they will have to go against the religion. Maybe they have to go against their family. Maybe they have to go against with the, uh, you know, when it comes to the cultural, you know, differences or maybe financial differences for some of you as well. They will have to basically take a step, which is something not um, kind of, you know, easily taken by their family or something. So I feel like, you know, it's not going to be an easy decision for this person. But yes, this person is going to take that decision and they will either accept your proposal or they will be making you the proposal to um, to come back together. Because I feel like you know, this person is returning back here. It's a past person. It's not a new person. It's more of a past person who is coming back in your life to accept um, your love offer that you made to them or them are going, they are going to be the one who is going to make the offer to you. Um, because um, now they feel love for you. It's it's going to be a very sudden development happening in your love life with your specific someone. They have hurt you in the recent past or in the past, but they are willing to start something all over again with you. Let's see the oracle card here. Let's see what the oracle has to add to the read for you guys. Fresh 
friendship. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. I feel like you know, for a majority of you, maybe you and your person could, ha could have been having um, issues becoming, uh, you know, um, or coming into a relationship. Uh, so maybe for some of you, it's just going to be a relationship thing happening between the two of you. For others of you, maybe if you are already in a relationship or you have been in a relationship, maybe you are going to take things to the next level with your person. But if your person and you had never expressed openly, then it's going to be a week where you are going to be expressing your love openly by nurturing the bond of friendship within this relationship that you have. And that's how you will get closer to each other. So I feel like, you know, the friendship, in this connection is definitely getting uh is definitely blossoming there um and for others of you it's just gonna go uh your connection is just gonna go to the next level especially if you have been always uh open about your feelings to each other uh so yeah i feel like you know this is uh, more like uh, somebody's having the courage to basically take uh, take the steps that they should have taken earlier as well so let's see more cards here workaholic you or your person could have could be a workaholic person as well so maybe their work could have been one of the issues why they were not ready to give in to this connection with you as well but now they're ready uh i feel like you know with the discovery card here it seems like um your person is going to have a lot of uh um awareness coming around from from the divine around this connection they might be seeing you in their dreams as well where they are going to discover so much about this connection that they have with you and maybe that is going to be one of those things which is going to compel your person to do the things that they were not ready to do earlier so um i feel like you know somebody is returning to accept or to give the offer of love to you let's see what else do we have coming up for you for this week time Honor your inner knowing, medicine mother. I feel like and it's very important for you to understand what is more important to you is your inner knowing. If you believe that this person is bound to come back to accept your love, to give you love offer, this person will definitely come in. If you have been having your fears and you have been having your, you know, um, um, you know, other uh, um, signs and messages coming from the divine, whether you were told to move on or whatever it was, listen to the inner knowing, listen to the inner calling that you might have been having around your person because this is a general read. For some of you, maybe you need to move on or for others of you, maybe you need to accept this person coming back to you. So yeah, let's see what else do we have. Earth Guardian. So stay rooted and grounded. Even if this person reaches back to you, make sure you know where this connection is going. Try to keep it very clear between the two of you. Your person could be workaholic, so make sure that you are ready to accept them the way they are, uh, rather than asking them to change for you or you know give them more, um, give you more time and stuff. If you had those kind of issues, maybe you need to talk through things before you could come together. So let's see what are the messages of your person for you. I replay our conversation over and over again. So this person has been thinking about the offer that you might have made to them and uh, they have been trying to make up their mind around it. Nobody can ever love me like you do. I value you. So this person really believes that you love them and that too so strongly that nobody else in this world can love them the way you do. So maybe that that is going to be one of those reasons why this person really wants to be with you. Uh, or will be coming back to you because they understand that nobody in this world can love them the way you do I will return back to you when ready So this person is definitely gonna come back to you and I feel like you know They are definitely coming back to you in this week time uh, and this is a past person for sure and uh, Really coming back because they believe that you are the one who could uh, love them the way you do and nobody else in this world Can treat them the way you treat them. So they really want to be with you So let's see what else do they want you to know? I am trying to work on my mental blocks. So this person could have, uh, you know, some mental blocks around this connection as well. And if that's the case, this person is right now trying to work on those mental blocks so they could come forward to accept the love offer or the love that they have for you as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it coming up for you for this week time. If it helped you in one way or the other, do like, share and subscribe. And if you're willing to purchase any of the services that I offer, check the description box for further details on that. So till I do the next reading for you guys, take care. Bye.